Alright you guys, this has got to be the weirdest middle of the night video ever. I'm eating cereal in a cup. Junky cereal, mind you. Uh, and it's really late. So that's because this vlog has a long story. I just got the shower, it's nighttime, and there's like a weird little twist to this whole vlog. Baby, we're children of summer. I'll tell you guys in like two seconds. Let me show everybody what happened to my baby today. He's eating cereal at like midnight. Let me show, show everybody. Look at your mouth. All right, so what happened exactly? Uh, Joey, ha one of our little twins, um, had a cavity before this entire coronavirus pandemic broke out and um, he needed to have it filled. But then, the vi well then we were sick because we had been sick like all over January and February. By the way, if you intermittently hear him coming in the room with laser gun sounds, that's because he slept the entire day. Okay, all right. Okay, so Easter night, I or the night before Easter, excuse me, I noticed that he had his like tooth where the cavity needed to be filled looked gross and abscessed and it was like starting to puff up and he wasn't feeling well. And um, so I called the dentist and they were like, nobody is seeing anybody right now. Nobody's gonna see a patient, nobody's gonna fix it. We're gonna have to give him a round of antibiotics. And I sent her photos and videos of his tooth and it was totally abscessed. And I was kind of panicked. So he's been on antibiotics for over a week now. It's looking better, but they, they were like, we have to get it out. So today they said, they said if he can meet us at an oral surgeon uh, early, early this morning, who doesn't specialize in kids necessarily, but does specialize in oral surgery, then we will do and take out the tooth and do a twilight sleep on him. We won't do an IV sleep and everything. So I'm already a little freaked out that like we'll catch the virus being, you know, out and about. We haven't been anywhere. My kids have not gotten any kind of a store public thing, any setting like that since March 13th. So we took him, we had the tooth extracted, they did a twilight sleep on him, it was terrible. He um, he was really well behaved, take the medicine and everything, but seeing your kids go under that weird, like funny twilight sleep with laughing gas, it's just heart-wrenching as a mom. So I didn't wanna film or anything, cause I was like, this is his privacy, and so I didn't film it, but it was crazy, and it was all the things you see where they act loopy and all that kind of stuff. Um, he literally has taken all day to kind of wear off of that and he has slept all day and I haven't slept but three hours last night because he had a hard night with his tooth so that's kind of what our day was you guys that and then I wanted to bake bread today so we came home we ba we baked bread and it was just life like life just felt really hard today so we're gonna roll today's vlog <laughs> my little guys and my little sicky over here show them out Look at that lip, oh my gosh. Oh, so swollen from having all those like machines on it and everything. So we're gonna roll today's video and that's kind of what you get today. I wanna be true to documenting like what's been going on during this coronavirus and pandemic and this is this is just what happened in our day this was it I mean we didn't sleep we had a tooth extracted mom is I'm not feeling great myself and this was life but you know what we made bread and bread makes everything better so that was a good day but this is what our day is this is what we did I want to know what you guys did today has time like today was a hard day it was a harder day I didn't love taking the kids or taking him out Joey out the others stayed with Rich but did not love taking him out to some place that's so so public and like a health place of all things now I know I'll kind of hold my breath for 14 days but um, you know it had to be done and so it's one of those moments where you just step out in faith and you say okay God you know this you know this needs to be done and we're giving you 
100% control of this situation, which we should do with every situation. But that was our day, but I was just feeling it today, you guys. I was just, when I'm exhausted and everything, and my kids, Joey's been super needy and whiny today with just needing mom and just hugs and constant reassurance. And so all I had left to do was to sit down right now, you guys, with these kids who've slept now all day and just eat a bowl of cereal because and I just picked up the camera and I'm like, I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Like we're sitting here having coffee. So let me know. Let me know what has been hard for you this week. I wanna know. Cause we, we talk so much about the positive and the good and there is a lot of positive and good, but sometimes we need to be real. So what was hard for you guys this week? Think about that as you read the vlog, as you watch the vlog and then leave a comment at the end. Not really sure what day of quarantine this is. It's definitely over a month, but I put on earrings today, so I think it's gonna be a good day. So I'm getting the kids in the car to go to Target because uh, Mama ordered some things from Target today. I need a new crock pot. I know, I know. I never cleaned out the old one, and I finally just threw it away. <sighs> Super wasteful of me, but who can relate? Show of hands, anybody? All right guys, so I'm totally aware that I did not need to buy another item off of the Target app, but I'm gonna say quarantine made me do it. It's it's quarantine's fault because I'm trying to cook and bake as much as I can, and I need the right tools, darn it, and Target is my safe way to get what I need without having to go into a store. Quarantine made me do it. All right, in other news, do you guys see how this side of my cheek is like poofier than this side? I don't know if you can see it, I can feel it. So I'm supposed to zoom with my doctor today because like my glands all along here and in here are kind of swollen. I did bite my cheek the other day when I was woofing down a piece of banana bread like a fiend and I think it got infected. I've had this before where like a saliva gland or something, so gross, gets infected and then this like whole area puffs up. So I can feel it's like tight in there. So I, I think that's what it is. I, I don't want to tell the doctor that I was wolfing down a piece of bread like a slob that I am, but I was, and that's the truth. Now, like, even in here, kind of hurts. And I so then I started Googling to see if, like, the glands here meant you have coronavirus. I'm like, maybe that's what I have, but I don't think I do. Good news, because <laughs> uh, I don't have one other symptom, but you know, I don't know. I go a little bit nuts, like, I cannot. Like I love Google, but I honestly have been told by doctors to stop Googling things because I can be a bit of a hypochondriac, I think. And um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go with that this is just, you know, from being a slob. And we're gonna see what the doctor says. All right guys, I've got my coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. This makes me feel really good about the day. Everybody ready to go? No! Frozen! Woo! Frozen too! Yay! Guys, what is 
is with this weather. It is 58 degrees. It is like one o'clock in the afternoon and it is sunny Southern California. Somebody please explain to me what is happening. All right guys, so I have two products that I am loving right now so much. So the Downy Unstoppables because they make your clothes smell amazing. And then these little small spaces, uh, I think they're for breeze. I put them in my bathroom, I put one in my kitchen. They smell amazing and they're, they're air fresheners but they don't have that like really harsh air freshener smell. So these are my two little go-tos this week. All right, you guys, that is it for this vlog. Uh, I know it's a little bit all over the place, but you know what? I want to be real with you guys. I want to show you exactly what our real day was like in quarantine. And I don't know if yours was much different, but um, hopefully my crazy life made you feel a little bit better about your own. So we are all in this together, you guys. Staying home, staying safe. Thank you for watching. If you want to see this vlog and more like this vlog, uh, make sure to hit that red subscribe button so that you can join our family and be part of our everyday adventures whether it be at home in quarantine uh, or out and about in the world we would love to have you along and be part of our family so hope you guys are doing well keep on growing peace see you manana bye guys Bum, bum, bum.